This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. A copy of the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448798-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney District 5 Title VI Coordinator by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or by email at melissa.mckinnewy at dot dot state dot fl dot us. You may also contact Stefan Kalikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 705 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414, 4742, or by email at stefan.kulakowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The project location is on Mason Avenue, State Road 430, from Clyde Morris Boulevard to east of Beach Street in the cities of Daytona Beach and Holly Hill. This project proposes improvements to enhance safety and operations along the project corridor for all users. Historically, Mason Avenue within the project limits has experienced a high number of crashes, including many that involved pedestrians or bicyclists. From 2017 through 2021, there were 996 crashes, resulting in 444 injuries and seven fatalities. Additionally, there were 44 bicycle and pedestrian crashes that resulted in three fatalities. FDOT is committed to safety for all roadway users and works to provide new and upgraded accommodations for bicycles and pedestrians where feasible to help reduce the chances of serious or fatal injuries. A quarter planning study completed in 2022 identified both short and long-term improvements for the corridor. This project will implement many of the short-term recommendations. As part of this resurfacing project, FDOT evaluated numerous safety and operational improvements, which were shared with the community as part of the corridor planning study. Plan safety improvements include new mid-block crossings with pedestrian hybrid beacons, also known as PHBs, new sidewalk on the north side of Mason Avenue, and upgrading existing signalized intersections. Mason Avenue from Clyde Morris Boulevard to Nova Road consists of two 12-foot wide travel lanes in each direction with curb and gutter and continuous sidewalk on both sides of the road. No changes are proposed for the travel lanes in this segment. 
Mason Avenue from Nova Road to east of Beach Street consists of two 12-foot wide travel lanes in each direction. This segment also includes six-foot wide shoulders. No changes are proposed for the travel lanes in this segment. New sidewalk is proposed on the north side of Mason Avenue to fill in existing gaps, creating a continuous sidewalk on both sides of the road. To help enhance pedestrian safety, the project identified areas where additional pedestrian crossings are needed. The four new mid-block crossings that are planned in this project will have raised crosswalks and will be equipped with pedestrian activated signals known as pedestrian hybrid beacons or PHBs. This slide shows a rendering of a crosswalk with a PHB. The new mid-block crossings are proposed west of Fairmont Road, west of Edwards Street, west of Washington Street, and at Mulberry Street. A PHB is an overhead traffic signal designed to help pedestrian cross by requiring motorists to stop during a red light phase. However, unlike a regular traffic signal, the signal is dark until activated by a pedestrian. In addition to the lights in the overhead beacon, in-road lights will help alert motorists to crossing pedestrians when the pedestrian hybrid beacon is activated. Improved pedestrian lights along the corridor will also enhance safety for all users. Proposed intersection safety enhancements include adding raised separators within the center line, known as hardened center lines, at the Mason Avenue intersections with Clyde Morris Boulevard, Nova Road, and Ridgewood Avenue. This graphic shows an example of these improvements at Clyde Morris Boulevard. Pedestrian safety improvements such as realigning crosswalks, pedestrian signal upgrades, curb ramp reconstruction, and curb extensions to encourage safer turning movements are also planned at all nine signalized intersections. Design of this project began in the fall of 2022 and will be completed in the spring of 2024. Construction is anticipated to start in late summer of 2024. The estimated cost of construction is approximately $11.6 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carry equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by September 1st, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete the printed comment form provided to you and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project's website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 4487 98-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at ty.garner at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5299 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is available on the public meeting notification you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 
448798-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Friday, September 1st, 2023. Thank you and have a good evening.